Hi, boys and girls. Today we are going to be working on health lesson. We are still on chapter five. We're talking about the skin and the hair and that type of things. Um, the first things that you have for today is a homework quiz. So make sure that you answer those five questions that you're seeing in the PowerPoint and make sure that you submit them. Uh, submit the answer to the questions into the Google Classroom. I will create a tab for you to submit the answers. Um, so we're talking about the color, the color of our skin. So it says that the melanin in the epidermis, as you know, that's a layer of the skin, helps prevent the sun's ultraviolet rays from harming the rapidly multiplying cells of the lower epidermis. So that's basically what gives us the color of our skin. Um, also, the darker the skin color, the greater the amount of melanin that we have. And that helps us because it gives us more protection from the rays of the sun. So the darker your skin, the more protector that you are towards the sun because your skin is not that fair because it's so, you know, it's not that light, it's not fair. So we have, we could basically tolerate more in our, in our skins. Uh, the dermis. The dermis is where the connective tissues, the blood vessels, the nerve endings, the hair follicles, oil glands, and sweat glands are located. Um, the connective tissue in the dermis makes skin elastic and strong, and it attaches to your, your skin to your muscles, okay? Uh, the root of the hair. The hair follicles in our hair are live cells or roots of each hair, and it grows on a little sac. The hair follicles, as long as they are healthy and alive, that is what let our hair grow. But when they die, uh, that's when some people, you know, are, become bold. Boldness occurs when they're dead. Uh, the hair texture. The hair texture is determined by the, share, the shape of the hair follicles. So if your follicles are round and straight, it means that your hair will be straight. If they are flattened and, and curved, that determines that your hair is going to be curly. And this I actually found very interested, interesting, I didn't know this. Uh, the color of the hair. The color of your hair is determined by a pigment that is deposited in new hair cells before they grow out of a follicle. So that is how your color of your hair is determined. Again, um, make sure that you answer the homework quiz. Um, make sure that you are all set and prepared for that. And for your homework, you are, let's see, what are you doing for homework? You do not have homework, you just have the quiz. Okay, so make sure that you do that and I will see you here tomorrow. Thank you.